the other kind of uh, digital art platform is that more and more um, art museums are, uh, are getting familiar and they are accepting new media art in their space. Like uh, last year, from what I've known, uh, so many are so many digital art artists. Their work has been exhibited in Hell Hell Art Museum and Tank, as well as um, M M C A M also all the museum and also as P S A and as well as well as O C A T. So uh, it's a good sign that art muse museum are accepting more and more kinds of medium in in this time and and also <laughs> uh, from uh, the most commercial ones even the co most commercial ones the, uh, the the museum the exhibition shows happening in shopping mall so these kind of <laughs> shopping mall exhibitions are more down to earth because their audience are normal people who know maybe nothing about techniques and art. They just want to feel and have fun and take pictures. But even for them, I think art and tech is still a really fascinating um, interest to them because they want, all of us, uh, we want something look beautiful. We want something that could have more close connection with us. And I think art and tech, the combination of art and tech can bring this to us. For example, if I want to explore a beautiful painting, all I want to do is not just looking at them. I want to touch them. I want to know if the, what would happen if I touch them. I want to hear the sound if I touch them. I think it's a more diverse way to explore traditional art. If we turn this painting into a digital art form. That's what we could bring to the noble public. So I think everyone deserves the right to explore this, not only the people who has already in this artwork. So from uh, one thing that I know in the quarantine is the art market might be fragile. <laughs> I mean, this kind of capital games, but art is not. Art will not stop growing. So as long as we love this kind of beauty of life, art would not die. So I think um, the combination of art and tech could certainly bring more possibilities to make the art uh, getting more approach to normal people, to all the people. So that's what I think. And I would like to answer the second question is that what is the balance of art and technology? So from what I think, I think a good work uh, that has the good balance in art and technology is that art should not leave, um, is, uh, how, how, how can I describe this? Is that in this work, the art part cannot leave the tech part and the tech part cannot live without the art part they need each other so if art is totally driven by technologies for example if you found something wow i think this tech is so great and i want to make an art piece by that i think art is totally driven by technology and if um these technology uh, if you find something art uh really fascinating and you desperate to find some technology to fulfill that you will probably fail because technology is the, the tech is still growing you sometimes you have to comp uh, compromise because we haven't achieved that level that you can do anything you want so i think it's the good balance is these two things cannot live without each other and uh, these two things should serve to each other. That's why I think a good artwork with technology should be. That's really well put, thank you. Are there examples of this type of collaboration that you've seen recently that really stuck out to you in your mind? Um, I would like to introduce a group that I really love. Uh, it's from Poland. Uh, 
the, the name is pan generator, P A N generator, pan generator. So I think their work bring the bring me a, a sense of um, fun. <laughs> They, they have this kind of uh, pretty uh, clean uh, aesthetics styles and uh, their purpose is, is really clear uh, is really clear so uh, probably I can show you from the meal of their works pun generator that's it for this episode of beyond codes and aesthetics if you like what you heard you can subscribe to us on Apple podcasts Spotify, or wherever else you listen to your podcasts. Also, please take a moment to rate and review this podcast. It will help other listeners discover what we're doing. Beyond Codes and Aesthetics is produced by Kohei and translations on Himalaya podcasts by Will Jung. Take care and see you next time.